For, I, I do agree with you that there are certain issues that one can say about um, uh, another person's religion that can hurt that other person. And out of respect uh, and out of a decent society, I would always advise people to have and to show respect to the other person's religion or maybe even the absence of faith. Um, but I also believe in um, maybe not that the law is perfect, but, but I, I do believe in the principles set out by uh, the French philosopher Voltaire. Uh, you probably know his uh, famous quote that even if you do not agree with uh, what someone says, uh, we, or as Voltaire said, I will defend to death your right to say it. Um, and even though out of good taste or out of respect I can have an opinion about certain expressions, certain expressions, I believe that everyone has the right uh, to say it. And I noticed by looking at some of the remarks that you made in the past that you were critical of remarks uh, made by a colleague of ours, uh, Mr. Wilders, what he said about Islam, but also of the uh, cartoons that were published uh, in a Danish newspaper some years ago and more recently in the uh, French uh, Charlie Hebdo uh, magazine. And my question is, even if you think with me that not, not all of those expressions are a, uh, a sign of good taste, do you underwrite that all these people have the right to say what they want to say or in the, uh, in the, for, the, for the cartoonists, uh, if they have the right to express uh, their views in the way that they do it by making uh, the drawings. Do you agree with Voltaire? As far as the right of the freedom of expressing himself, any person, this, of course, you have in your law, in the law of the country, law of the land, and this in present day, almost in every democratic country, it is uh, permitted that whatever you want to say, you can say. This is the freedom of speech. But what I mean is that despite the fact that you have a freedom of speech, but there should be some limitations on this freedom. When you see that it's going to disturb and hurt somebody, then there you should put some limit on that at that point. Otherwise, Whatever they are doing, we, we did not uh, retaliate in that way, we say. You see, in my view, to develop peace, to create peace in the world, you will have to honor the human values. And human values are that to, just to, uh, you know, give weight to the sentiments of others. Not only that whatever you want to say something or whatever is in your mind, you are free to say, all right, you, despite the fact you are free to say, but if you consider the sentiments of others, then you would think twice before saying anything which can cause problem and destroy the peace of the society. Well, ju just to follow up, because in fact you are then arguing for a limitation of the freedom of speech. And where you draw the line is apparently the, um, if, if, if people speak about others, people's faith, um, and, and, and you would argue for a limitation there. But do you not see a risk that if, if you put in the law of the country a limitation of the freedom of speech, this will actually be, be misused? by political leaders, by others, uh, to stop the debate in a country. Because if, if, no. if you put one limitation on the freedom of speech, where to draw the line? I, I do not say that you legally you put the restriction on freedom of speech. But what I mean is that uh, we should realize the importance of peace and the importance of sentiments of others. If we do realize this thing, then every sane person would think twice before saying anything wrong to other person. If, in your view, 
the peace of the society is the foremost thing, then I think despite the fact that you have a freedom to say anything you want, but a sane person will think twice. I mean, as far as I am concerned, I will never say something ill about somebody because I know, even in your day-to-day -day matters, in your uh, home, if you hurt the sentiments of your wife or your brother or somebody, you see, there is a disturbance in the, in, the, in the house. And you would like that you had not said these words. It would have been better. So this, this all depends on the considerations. But it does not mean that there should be, yeah, you are free, you see. If everybody is free to say something, you cannot speak about um, uh, this, uh, the anti-symmetricism. You cannot speak about the Jews, right? What happened in, during the th Second World War? Every person has a right, but it is it is uh, widely, you know, unliked. Even there are some countries. Whenever you are speaking about Jews and what happened and uh, anti semitism then you the the, the 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 law will get hold of you. It means there are some restrictions somewhere already imposed by the law.